Hi everyone. So I wanted to come on really quick because I had my own realization, especially working with um, my shadow self during this time. And I was just realizing that all of these emotions that I've been feeling, these like heavier things that have been coming up, I was like, I don't know. I think it's for no reason. I think I'm just releasing something. Um, but I didn't have to necessarily like know what it was. But it was bothering me because I felt like I was losing my inspiration and passion for things. And it scared me. It was frightening <laughs> because I thought um, it was bad and that I couldn't get out of it. And that was just fear kind of uh, ruling everything right there. And basically what it was was just me feeling alone. Which kind of stumped my inspiration and creativity for things. I'll have like bursts. Um, every now and then but especially when I have like long periods alone I'll feel alone <laughs> I'll feel super alone and just feel like I basically like don't have the energy or passion for certain things and even if I talk to people I feel like I'm not in the right headspace um, when I'm feeling like that which makes total sense <laughs> But basically, I was realizing this in my meditation this morning that um, it was all just me feeling alone. And I pulled some oracle cards, um, not tarot because I don't read tarot yet, but um, pulled some oracle cards and it helped. And I was able to uh, receive a few messages like about remembering and light beings. And it was just all things about like you're not alone pretty much and that you're magical and that you need to come back to what brings you joy. So I actually wrote down everything that was kind of coming through me while I was meditating after receiving those cards. And I was listening to like some Reiki for sacral chakra because I was thinking like, oh, my sacral chakra is unbalanced and everything because I'm losing passion for things. But then that came up. I'm like, I feel alone. So I'm going to uh, just read a little bit of this, but basically the messages and um, the things that were coming through were basically just like a small little remembrance meditation which I'll um I could do later but I'm probably just going to read it right now and also post it on my blog <sighs> it's all about the love we share that is held but unspoken being able to remember that and not only just being grateful for things you need to genuinely be grateful for things so that means you need to be able to feel in your heart that love and when we can't, we fear that we're alone and all sorts of stuff. So I just want to let you know that you are not alone. You are never alone. You are completely connected with everything on this planet and everything in the universe. I mean, how else? We're not just like single entities for here for no reason. That's just that I, I don't believe that. But um, <laughs> this feeling um, feeling alone and fearful in that way is definitely a way to lower our vibration, especially as we are um, um, told to stay home. Some of us are quarantined. Some of us aren't around our family members. Maybe if you are and you still feel alone, um, which I have, it's really all about just lowering the vibration and coming back to that fear, which we are trying to dissipate and let go of because we do not need it. <laughs> we can move past it. Um, it is not serving us anymore. So I'll read it now. You are the world. You are a miracle. We all are. And whenever you're feeling alone, whenever you're feeling this intense feeling, I challenge you, every time that happens, to close your eyes, to let your breath begin to calm you, begin to bring you out of the head and into the body allowing as you breathe waves of relaxation to just spill through the crown of your head all over your being just waves of calmness and peace nothing to worry about right now <laughs> all just joy Allow your thoughts to be soothed, your mind to be soothed, your emotions to be soothed. And allow them to fade away as you breathe. Just let them, and they will. And then we'll draw attention to how our body feels. 
So as soon as we are out of that headspace, soothing and relaxing and coming into the body, notice how your body feels. Really be completely present. Feel the energy on your skin and above your skin. Whatever sensation it may be. And when you come into the body and really feel that sensation going on there, you can really feel like how expansive you truly are. How powerful you are. All of this energy that we're feeling that just surrounds us from head to toe. That's us, that's you. <laughs> so when you tap into that, and you completely let go and come to this moment right now and feel your body, feel your being. You're feeling the power within you, this power that we don't often pay much attention to or bring a lot of awareness to. But when we are feeling that fear and we can close our eyes and drop into the body, we're tapping back into our power. We are not giving it away to fear. To any lower vibration, we are coming back and recultivating this remembrance for our power, for our right to feel good, to feel whole and complete. So when you're feeling this, feeling your body, just noticing it, with your eyes closed, doing absolutely nothing but being. I want you to realize that that is you. That this feeling, this energy around your body is the universe. It's the uniting force of pure light that we are all made up of. Even our planet stems from it. This universal magic that is just so common and so abundant in our world and the universe that is within you it surrounds you it surrounds all of us it surrounds everything and this energy field that we have really truly holds keys and codes and evolution it is meant for it As we bring our attention and our awareness to it, we allow ourselves to open up to listen as we trust for those answers, for those messages, for that guidance. It is all here within the body. It is all around us if you truly see and be present in your moment. As we bring attention to this energy around us, to how we are feeling, finding out how we can drop into more joy and love in our lives, we are truly encouraged to transmute the things that come up, these fears, this shadow aspect of ourselves, to truly begin to integrate it and feel <laughs> my doggy. To truly feel strong once again. To feel powerful and expansive within ourselves. So letting this go is really just going to allow us to evolve so that we can feel more joy and more love. Feel more like ourselves and receive more of that back to us. So notice it around you. Notice it in your body. And as you breathe with your eyes closed, just know that the world loves you. The universe loves you. If they can love you, so can you. Because <laughs> you are all one. You are all of one source of energy. So really take the time to take your power back. 
in those moments of defeat and breathe come into the body and just know feel and know and trust this is everything you are everything and just let yourself know that you love you Mm -hmm. we're all in this together That is all that I have for you today. Thank you for listening. It truly, truly means the world. This has helped me immensely just today. So I'm definitely going to be practicing this more and let me know if this has helped you as well. Or if you're going to try um, taking those moments, especially when you're feeling that fear, defeat, or just feeling alone. Um, Yeah, you can overcome it. We're all here. We're all connected. If I can do it, you can do it easily. (laughs) everything's going to work out you're strong take your power back you got this bye you guys